All right, so like I said, we are about to start um, repotting some plants. And here I have this philodendron that my um, fiance brought from work. Uh, it's been in this vase for a long time. She doesn't want it in there no more, even though it will continue to live in there for years. It will do just fine. There's really no need to replant it, but she wants it out. So we'll take it out. Um, she, she of course, thought the best way to do that would be to break the vase. I'm not about breaking glass. Um, <clears throat> I do have some uh, small anxiety triggers, and glass breaking is one of them. Uh, we have this chandelier at work, and when you reach over the... Um, the banister of the steps to unscrew the bulbs every single time if I even get the slightest feeling that I'm gonna drop one of the bulbs or even when we're replacing the you know the fluorescent light tubes I hate that because when you're trying to twist it in there you feel like you're turning it and those things break and explode easy so it it makes me really nervous um, <clears throat> like yeah, I get all flustered. It's it's like a very minute uh, anxiety attack. So I don't like breaking glass uh, ever. So I'm going to try to get this out by way of water jetting. Um, we don't have the best water pressure because let's see. I'm going to try not to blind you through the sun, but. Um, I'm getting my face in that. There is our water tower. It's not that far away. And it's... We're, we're pretty much... Uh, eye level... Mm, it's probably about 20 feet taller than where I am right now. So it goes downhill into the little ravine right here. Or, you know, around the the road and then up to us so there's not much of a drop off there's not that much gravity feed we don't have the best of pressure we still have decent water pressure but not good enough for water jetting but i'm going to try uh, so i have this uh, jet nozzle and i'm going to try spraying the water inside the vase to clean out the um, dirt the soil that's in it uh, without breaking the, the vase. My intent is to try and get rid of all the soil just so that the roots and everything can just slide right out. And yeah, if we have to, I'll let her break the vase, but I'd rather not. So I'm gonna try and get this done. So let's hope it works. Okay, so there we go. That's, ooh, blinding you, sorry. That's a form of water jetting. So I've basically, let me get into the sun so that you guys can see. Basically sprayed ev as much the old potting soil off as we can, exposing the healthy roots. Um, hopefully, in theory, Removing all that old uh, soil also removes some of the old dead roots. Um, and that's kind of what we want to get rid of. Of course, the philodendron, it roots itself. It's really hardy. It's not 
hard to grow. I mean, it's almost unkillable. Uh, you do still have to water it. It's not drought tolerant, but if something starts dying out and the tips are still good, you can actually cut them. I just blinded you again. So you see these, all these little black nubs, those are root, uh, root nodes. I'm getting wound up with my mic. Those are root nodes. So once they, basically once they t uh, touch constant moisture, they'll produce an enzyme that makes them start actually growing. So if the, the tips, just like I showed you, if everything from the original roots down to the tips is dead and those are still alive, you can clip them off and put them in soil and they'll root. Uh, very easy plant um, it take a little bit of maintenance as in you know winding everything up multiple times because the leaves do fall off and then you're left with these ugly stringy vines but yeah it's a good plant we have a lot of them but uh it's also a good it uh I've, I've read before that philodendron is actually a good air scrubber for your home you'd have to have a lot of them but they can they can definitely help with uh odors um allergens same with a lot of other house plants uh even um i've even been told english ivy uh, if you grow it in the house in your house that's uh that's a good air scrubber so so i've i've got it out of the vase so we've got a vase for whatever we need it for uh, she likes getting cut flowers every now and then and so we have a second base for cut flowers but uh yeah we're gonna go get this put into the proper pot and so it can be taken care of all right so we've got a few plants that we're gonna repot uh my soon-to-be stepdaughter's bamboo that we're gonna put into this turtle she sealed the hole with hot glue and filled the bottom with rocks to act as an anchor um, for the roots and then of course we got the philodendron but we'll be doing that later so right now we're going to be doing this one and getting it all set up all right so in the spirit of not really wanting to show my kids on youtube uh, i didn't record any of us um, potting this up but it's potted and it's right in front of her window where she wants it to go with the rest of her plants uh, I'll do more of a kind of detailed video when we do the uh, the rest of the plants it's probably gonna be tomorrow it's getting kind of late all right so it is Sunday we spent multi most of the day Christmas shopping um, so we didn't get any really projects done I, I did get that quick review out this morning before church but um yeah after church we've been out christmas shopping the whole time so we're in the garage now and we've got a few things to pot up um my fiance's philodendron that we water jetted yesterday uh, we're gonna uh, separate that out and put it into a new pot uh, i also have my hospital pot hold on so there's the philodendron that we water jetted yesterday. So we gotta start pulling all the dead roots and stuff out of there, separate it out to get it put into this pot. It's an old one. I had to super glue the base back. We've got um, just a mixture of old soil. We've got the new potting soil. And this is what I call my hospital pot. So anytime something fell off, I just put it in there. So we can use some of that for the new stuff as well but uh this thing just needs taken care of real well it hasn't been watered in way too long and uh a lot of this is just old and dead and needs to be removed so we're going to take care of that real quick all right so we started pulling them apart and as you can see this one see the yellow bit that's the old stem somebody just had it wrapped around in the soil and it rooted itself out it's got 
way too long of a stem so this little bit's probably going to be plucked off and put into the hospital pot this one has great new growth at the base and then a lot of vine which is fine but as you can see it's got a lot of so we just pull it yep it doesn't need all that it'll regrow its own roots and it'll be just fine here's another little one that one's that one's pretty good it's yeah that clump right there can go yep so we got a good little bit from here there's yeah th no that one's not trash that can actually because it's got well now it's trash <laughs> so that one we're just gonna plant like on the top right around these root nodes so that they will catch moisture and start growing but then we've got all these little ones too so there's that one and we're going to clean this one out as well see like it's all this stuff dead i mean it, it still shows green but there's no you don't want to put the root nodes in it see there's still green vine but there's no leaves so you don't want to try and root those root nodes because they won't do anything so we've got this good healthy stuff there's a little oh that one's wilted that one needs water badly so this one's still good I, you don't have to worry about digging them back in we got a bunch of weeds that because i set them out in the um out in the outside to get sun during the summer so they get rain and sun and they usually do real well and then they hate being inside for the winter because you know they get spoiled but <clears throat> yeah you can just be rough with these things they don't care they grow right back so we're going to get a, a few put in here and what we don't uh what we can't fit in this one we'll be putting in this hospital house so i'll be trying to catch whatever i can we got to put some dirt in there first honey so here's okay oh i found this measuring cup down here it was left from the last owner it's not ours okay so i'm trying to no i was trying to see how long my roots were to the pot <laughs> it's, you don't it doesn't matter though you just they curl up that's all they need to do they just need to curl up so there's and then we just cover up the yeah if you want to leave these like you had that one so we've got this old compost compost mix as well if you want to put a little bit of fertilizer in there with them yeah there's gonna be some old stuff we could actually throw some of those leaves in there and it'd be fine <laughs> all right so we're gonna there's no leaves on that one honey that's a good one is it wrapped up put that one in there too many roots no it's not too many roots for this pot it is with the rest of these roots I wouldn't put it in there well, that's one of the ones you want to keep otherwise it's going to be really a really shabby small I mean we, we also have to compress this so that one can go right there in the middle okay there you go phone's starting to heat up so the flashlight turned off but all we're going to do now put more soil on top of those and then we you can press it you got to compress it because uh they get so used to where the rain weighs the soil down they get so used to being compressed they don't actually like airy fluffy soil so you compress them as best you can to get rid of all the air pockets because honestly when you do water it to begin with it'll smush it all down and then you don't have enough soil so we just got to put it in like that but i'm gonna let my phone uh cool down a little bit we're probably gonna shove some more into this one 
and then just finish that one up and we'll be back with you okay so we got it planted and compressed it's all down real good the uh, you know roots are not able to go nowhere at the moment so that's a good thing uh, means it won't fall out this one that was really really uh, sad uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this whole thing upstairs and get it watered uh, as you can see we put a new one there a new one here a new one uh, run through here these are the two that don't have roots so they're gonna um, we just buried them lightly they'll root themselves in so it also where it went for so long without water uh, wasn't showing you anything where it went so long without water it pulled away from the pot if your house plants or any plants that you have start pulling away from the side shove it down in there get soil down in there and then water it uh, everything will expand everything will go back to where it needs to be but peat moss dries up and shrinks when it uh, well it shrinks when it dries up so that's what happens if you go too long without water so water your plants and uh they should be pretty happy so that's all we got for potting the plants tonight i don't think there's there's nothing else to do like other plants right get that out of my face but there's no other plants right i'll plant you <laughs> but there's no other plants right dead ones but yeah there's no other plants so that's all we're doing for tonight um I still got to rebuild that table to go in front of the French door so that we actually have a place to put some plants in the kitchen instead of on the counters. So that shouldn't be too bad of a project. Just probably some measuring, cutting, and throwing some screws into some table legs. It'll probably be a pretty crappy looking little table, but oh well, we'll get it fixed. So that'll be sometime this week, and that should be the end of this part of the vlog. So. I don't know what day that's going to be, but yeah, we'll, uh, that's going to be the next thing, next part of this vlog, that little table. Okay, so it's been a pretty busy week. Um, the last one, I said I was going to continue working on projects, and then we would put out part two by mid midweek, because I was expecting that the little table that I'm wanting to build, um, that I was going to have time on Monday to do so because I don't have time Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Thursday. And uh, I could have done it yesterday, but just like Monday, I got home from work, sat down on the couch after I got out of the shower, and I just relaxed. You know, watched Netflix, played games, just relaxed. It's kind of been a while since I've done that uh, especially with uh, my fiance sitting beside me um, we're always doing something so I just kind of took took a little time for myself and uh, spend a little bit of time with her so without you know doing stuff all the time so yeah it, it got pushed off so it is Saturday and I'm about to start taking the measurements for that table. That's probably all I'm gonna to do today. It's probably all I'm gonna do for the rest of the video. So, check, take the measurements, cut what I need to cut, try and put something together, make sure it, you know, holds weight and stands. So, I'll try and get that taken care of today. But let me show you, because I need to start taking measurements. Let me show you where, what I'm doing. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. And these are silver quill. This is a type of cactus. And this little guy is looking a bit puny. Um, it's a type of aloe. And uh, that's my daughter's uh, African violet, but where she hasn't been home, and we don't have the heat on in her room. We had to move it out where it wasn't cold. So. They're not getting enough sun. Uh, as you can see, the new growth of the silver quill hasn't, you know, opened up like the old growth. Because I had these outside under shade during the summer. So this is all 
good healthy stuff from the summer that's going to die die off in like a month or so and then these are supposed to take over but none of them have opened because they don't get enough sun but here we have our french door so so this is leo's crate uh he doesn't really get put in it we just put his food bowl in there because you know this one's a thief aren't you a thief yeah so i want to put the plants here but of course this is her at home you know work at home desk there's no room so i want to put them here where they can at least get some indirect sun because those silver quills they do great with indirect sun they don't do that great with direct sun so this is the north side of the house so it rarely ever gets direct sun but it gets lots of indirect sun as you can see it's pretty bright so i want to measure how far it is to the edge of this faux door for the french doors and then I'm, I'm sure i don't have to cut a width i don't have to rip that board down but i want to make sure that it's going to fit you know width wise in here so i love this new tape measure because it's got an auto lock and that's awesome i love those so i have 38 inches to work with oh sorry buddy buddy i didn't mean to step on you and as far as width goes like i said i don't think i really need i need a measure from that's the point that sticks out the furthest uh 13 inches so that should be should be good enough all right so let's go make sure that board meets the measurements all right so here's that piece of plywood that we pulled out of that window and it is 12 and a half inches so yeah i don't have to rip it which is amazing because you know i don't have the tools for that and all together is 45 inches so let me grab a pencil uh, actually there's a crack there so i want this to go up so let's, there we go okay all right so 38 inches all right there you mark it on both sides because I don't have a square. I have a few straight edges. And I don't have a square. Alright, this because I'm holding the camera is gonna be so much fun. I should just lay this on the friggin' floor, dummy. Lay it on the floor. There we go. Okay. So there we go. We are lined up on our marks see they are can i turn the flashlight on while i'm doing this probably not oh well okay so there's our marks there and there so we've got it lined up there's our cut now i don't have any saw horses and the only plugs are there in the ceiling and behind that wood pile and where i just vacuumed really don't want any more sawdust in here so i'm going to take that board and that circular saw go out front and cut that end off that way we can have the proper measurement for the table I, I might actually make it a little bit shorter but yeah uh, last time you saw me use that it didn't cut all the way through and I think um, I definitely need a new blade it's old but 
I think the problem was I was using two straw bales as sawhorses and they they you know they're not rigid so I think by pushing down or the at least the you know the board bowed in the middle like this and caught the blade and that's probably why it you know didn't cut through so shouldn't be a problem with this one since i'm using the porch so i'm gonna get all that set up get it cut so that i can have a top for a table Okay, so this time the saw worked great, as you saw. So I have it here. I'll cut a little bit, you know, splintered, but you know, it's just a makeshift thrown together. We don't really care. Go and put some plants on at table. So now I'm going to take this one apart because I want to try and reuse those legs at least. Maybe some of those bracers. Um, I know I have scraps in there that I can use for bracers. But what I need to do is because of that dog crate, I'm not going to have a bracer here. Just going to be two across the sides, one on the back. And I'm considering maybe doing kind of diagonals, but I don't think that's going to work because of the dog crate so I don't know we'll, uh, we'll start taking this apart start trying to get it all set up and go from there all right so I got everything pulled apart now these table legs they have this thread uh, threaded rod because they were they're supposed to go into it's like a it's a square piece of metal you you know screw it in all four corners and it's got a it's raised up a little bit and got a hole that's threaded you just thread those into that i don't have those um the old table let me show you i just drilled a hole that was small enough and just threaded it through the metal which is or not metal through the wood which is what i'm just going to do again and then run some screws down from the top and to them. So that's how I'm going to attach the legs. Now these pieces, I found these bits of scrap. And I measured the leg. This is an inch and a quarter. Yeah. No, an inch and an eighth wide. And here it's uh, five eighths. Of an inch wide so there's a half inch taper to this point right here so what I did is I took this piece and I cut it half an inch shorter so it's 30 35 and a half inches these pieces I've made them just slightly shorter so they're about because this is three quarters of an inch long so I was going to cut this down to uh, 12 inches and these are going to be three quarters of an inch but they need to be actually dang it now I think I might have messed that measurement up either way it's all it's going to work I'll, I'll make it work so I'm going to butt them up I'm going to drill a see I got my drill all set up and ready with a what is it 764 bit I'm gonna use these drywall screws that I used in the old one and drill me a pilot hole here screw them together there and then again here and then once I attach the once I attach the legs here on each corner I'll be sliding these 
into position and screwing them in just securing everything up that way the legs aren't so wobbly the table has some structure yeah, it's still probably going to be wobbly it's not the best of connections but that's my plan for right now I'm second guessing my measurement because I was actually planning them to be like this when they actually need to be like this but I, that just means I'm a quarter of an inch off there just means that the hole for the screw is going to be about right there so pretty close to the edge that just requires you know another pilot hole so nothing splits but all right I'm gonna assemble it now all right so I've got the legs screwed in screwed up a little bit I drilled through all the way on one of them so to make them even I went ahead and drilled through <laughs> all the way with the rest that uh that'll actually help uh, keep this thing sturdy honestly because uh, whenever I do end up going and getting wood glue which I need because I don't have any just put a bunch in there just drop it in there it'll seal it up and they won't move but uh I'm still probably going to run at least a screw here in the corners to kind of you know go down into the legs to uh secure them up and here I have the brace uh that one kind of you know split a little bit so it's going to go up here all the way against these it looks like it's a little bit too long which that's it's that's fine it's better than being too short i can always cut it down a little bit more or even just raise it up looks like i'll just be i'll be raising it up to there i actually use i uh, thought these uh thicker bits on the side would help a little bit more as far as um if we decided to put a shelf in there so i'm going to try and get this thing secured however i'm going to get it secured uh put those screws in like i was talking about in the corners and then i think i should be ready to try and test it out upstairs okay so it is now all together so i've got these set in they're pretty tight i had to run this brace just because it was it was really wobbly of course it's still wobbly i did my best to do that but you know this floor is probably not anywhere near level and i don't know what it's going to look like upstairs considering nothing in this house is square in level so it might actually sit on all fours upstairs but uh we'll see i had to uh measure for this brace because the dog kennel is basically going to come up right up against this brace so there's a nice little spot if we ever decide to make that a fully functioning shelf so i'm gonna go put this upstairs and see how it works all right, I have moved the plants. There was, for some reason, a beach towel that was sitting right beside the dog kennel. Stop licking all that hair up. And uh, I don't know what it was there for, but I threw it over top of the table. You can see it fits pretty good. I just smushed them out. Mike, it fits pretty good. Um, of course, there's a little bit of gap there, but that's because I accounted for the trim back there in the back. The kennel still opens up so that he can get inside and get his food. We still have room for the dog food, dog food containers. And the plants should get the proper amount of indirect sun that they like. But most importantly, the door still opens. So, yay. But yeah, there, it's complete. He's looking for the squirrels that 
are always out on our deck eating walnuts. But yeah, there you go. It's done. All right, so that's it. Um, supposed, like I said, it's supposed to do that on Monday, but I didn't. And I don't really have any other plans for this weekend or projects for this weekend uh, other than like just cleaning our room and doing more Christmas decorating stuff. So yeah, but that's all of it. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.